I have a fun one today that I'm excited to talk about. We are going to be doing a theoretical Tati Beauty Enchanted Textures Shopper Drop. So if you're new here, I do shopper drops where I talk about new makeup items, my thoughts, whether or not I will be buying them. I'm going to link Tati's video down below, but as you know, unfortunately, Tati Beauty did close. She never really got the opportunity to launch too much. She just launched one eyeshadow palette and one tool. I've always been curious about what was next. My thought was going to be the volume two of the textured neutrals. Is that what this is called? Or whatever this is called. The one that I have in my hands right now. But Tati, I'm going to link the video down below. Obviously her brand closed and the palettes that she was working on had been essentially stolen and sold online. So a disclaimer, please don't buy the palette. It's not approved. It's not the final product by the brand anyways. But since that happened, had been leaked, Tati talked a little bit about this collection and why you were seeing it. And obviously what I'm talking about today this is not what the final product would have been. I think more or less, this is what it would have been. But like I said, this is a theoretical shopper drop. Let's say Tati Beauty is back and moving and she launches this palette. I'm not gonna talk about quality. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but the promos came out today on Instagram. Oh my goodness. And this is what we're seeing. These would be my first impression. So I definitely would be shopping this. The photo itself really excites me. I'm excited because I was expecting a volume two of the neutral palette. So I think this is a fun way to twist it. Now, if you don't know my prior thoughts on the volume one palette, I was not the biggest fan of this formula, which is why I would be interested in picking up this new one to see if there were any changes to the formulation overall. What I did love about the palette is all of the colors that were offered. And I love the way that it's laid out in a gradient style as well as organized by texture. I think it's very pleasing to the eye. I think it's really great for beginners and we have that same exact style here in this palette. Maybe not as gradient because you can see she's going neutral color, neutral color, neutral color. So I actually kind of do like how she did that. I think it makes overall the palette look a lot brighter and lively if she were to put all the neutrals on one side and all of the colors on one side. But again we have the matte finish, the shimmer finish, the metallic finish, and the glitter finish finish over at the top. So I love that she stuck true to the actual packaging and that overall in her head, in her vision, it was going to be kind of like a book style collection of all of her palettes. Now she did say volume two on this. She was working on as well. It was going to be a little bit more cool where, since this one is a little bit more warm. That sounds right up my alley. So I'm sad we don't get to see that, but I love this palette. I think it's really fun. I think it's very true to Tati because you know Tati will play with color but she also is a neutral girl at heart so we still have those options here. I'd be interested to see how these neutrals differed from what was already in the existing palette because this row right here looks pretty darn neutral. This looks like it could be the row towards the end here but it definitely did catch my eye. So I'm loving this. You guys know I love purple and green eyeshadows so this is right up my eye. We have a true purple row, we have a green row, and then we have kind of more of a blue row. It, the blue row in particular, I noticed, looks really different from photo to photo. If you look on the photos online of the illegal palettes, the blue is very, very bright blue. And then in her video, it looked like more pastel blues. And in this one, it looks more of like a deep purple blue. I'm going to go off of the professional photos that were taken. I hope it would have ended up more like the professional photos. I mean, I think the bright, bright blue that I saw was also really fun. And it made the palette something that's able to be more creative. But I like how it looks in this photo. And of course, that all goes into that this palette was really never completed. So of course, they're going to look different from photo to photo situation a situation but this palette was inspired by like a princess palette butterfly holographic I love all of that so I'm into the color story of the palette this is something that I definitely would have picked up despite not loving or having the best experience with the first palette I think the color story in here is right up my alley so that got me thinking since we won't be getting this palette unfortunately 
what palettes do I have in my collection that are somewhat similar, right? So I pulled a handful of palettes. None of these are dupes, but they have a similar vibe. So what popped out to me, what I was looking for is the pink, purple, blue, and peach color stories. And then that's how I kind of pulled the palettes. So my brain immediately went to like Morphe or Profusion because this is a bigger style palette. Morphe and Profusion do those really big palettes there was this one right here from morphe that reminded me of this palette i don't own it but it's that line of green at the top that reminds me of the tati palette so that could be one option i think that one is on sale for pretty cheap right now this is the one that i think in my collection is going to end up being the most similar formula wise as well as it's pretty close in color story too so if you like the overall vibe of this Enchanted Textures palette. I think this is probably my number one recommendation if you wanna get something similar, and it's the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. So first of all, it's the same umbrella company produced Tati Beauty's products. So immediately, I honestly noticed similarities in the formulations. So that the second row up on the Enchanted Textures is that matte formula with sparkles in there. ColourPop has that formula too. I don't know if it's in this particular particular palette. I don't think it, yeah, it is. Like self-control is that same kind of formula where it's basically a matte with glimmers in it. Formulation-wise, you're definitely gonna get something similar. So the ColourPop, it's a mood palette. What stood out to me, one is going to be the formulations. They're pretty close if you ask me. You have the glimmer shade, the matte glimmer, the regular mattes, the metallic shades, and you also have pressed glitters, which is what Tati has in her palettes as well. Then we have a green row, a blue row, a purple row, and you are not short for neutrals or peaches. If you ask me, I think this is a really great alternative formula-wise, texture-wise, and color-wise. Obviously, the tones are different maybe I mean I can't guarantee that but I feel like the purples are brighter in Tati's palette the greens in Tati's palettes are a little bit more yellowy lime based blues look more purple in the promotion photo but then they look more blue like this in some other photos that I saw I think there's a few neutrals in here that are similar as well so if i was able to get my hands on the enchanted textures palette this is definitely a palette that i would have done swatch by swatch comparisons because i actually think this one is a pretty close alternative if you are interested in the enchanted texture palettes now the rest of these aren't as close but this is one that i am pretty proud of myself for figuring out it's not like the tati palette at all but it's the same vibes in terms of color that is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 3 Subversive. And I was thinking to myself, why do I like this palette so much from Tati? It's because this palette is one of my all-time favorites from Pat McGrath and it has the vibes of the purple, the blue, the greens, the neutrals. It has that overall similar vibe. Like I said, these are not dupes at all, but if you have this palette from Pat McGrath, you can't tell me that these aren't somewhat similar, right? In terms of the overall vibe, especially with it being like this enchanted, princessy, glimmery inspiration, you definitely have have that here with the Pat McGrath. So I opened this one right away. This was the first palette that I thought of when I saw this and I got pretty excited. So another brand that you might want to look into is Profusion. Now I don't think they had too many similar color stories but if you like the aspect of the bigger palette with lots of options with Tati and the pressed glitters, Profusion does a pretty Good job. Uh, Profusion is a good brand to look into. I think the Tati quality is a bit better than Profusion, but this one, it's because of the green row that called out to me that I thought it was kind of similar. This is the Sun Kiss palette. There's also a blue row here. It's not exact, we're missing purple. Not the closest match, but a similar vibe and it has those pressed glitters and a lot of textures and different options if that's what you like about the Tati palette. This one you can no longer get, but I think this one is kind of close, like kind of. This is the Lunar Beauty Moon Spell palette. This one is a little bit more grungier, but you have a purple row, you have a bluish, greenish kind of row, and then you have the neutrals. This one is missing the peaches, I would say. 
but again that kind of enchantment vibes right here i mean i guess it's not that close but it made me think of the tati palette kind of changed my mind about this one but the melt cosmetics amor y mariposas collection mostly because it has a green row a purple row and a neutral row but it really is not that close at all but you also do have a lot of color options here but the tones are kind of completely off with this but this palette has a bunch of butterflies on it which was a big at the time that this palette was created by Tati inspiration for her so I, it does have some similarities it's not that close but I just shopped in my collection <laughs> I'm just pulling out options for you guys and inspiration the last palette that I pulled is also not available anymore but the Natasha Denona trio chrome palette I think it's that purple and the lime row and there's like few peaches in here as well this is completely different different in terms of textures and formulations. There's no pressed glitters. These are duochrome. This is a mainly matte palette, but if you like that purple, green, blue kind of situation going on, this is something that has similar vibes. Probably the least like the Tati palette, but I just wanted to mention it. It's another fun palette with the purple, green, situation going on. If you have seen any other palettes that you think are similar to the Tati te Enchanted Textures palette, comment down below. I'd be interested in seeing because I only looked in my collection. I didn't even really look online or anything. This is just what I had available to me of colors that I feel like I could pull a few dupes out of and get some inspiration from. But, but overall, I really do appreciate Tati for even commenting on the situation and creating the video. Even though this palette will probably never come into fruition, I think this would have been a really beautiful and exciting launch. And it's got Got me excited for the brand. <laughs> I want to see more of what she has in her archives. If she came up with this, I want to see more. So let me know your thoughts. And by the way, she said this was supposed to be like a bigger collection. Like this wasn't supposed to be the only item. There was going to be more of this enchanted kind of stuff. So let me know your thoughts down below. What did you think of the enchanted textures palette? Is it something that you would have picked up? And then also let me know some alternatives in case people are searching. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and chatting about makeup. You guys know it's my favorite thing to do. Thank you so much for being subscribed and liking this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.